You have accused him, these are his words, not mine. Right. Uh, you have accused him of colluding, one patient colluding with the other. I'm only saying what the patient is alleged to, say, to have said. You may not have inferred that, but it's just complicated the issue. It's rather the opposite. I wanted to establish that he had... It hasn't helped where we're going with it. Right. Um, in fact, a uh, male patient has become... Has, is going to go down a litigation route. Against me? Um, I'm not sure. At the time, I, I said, I, I don't think the male and female patients mix on the day you use a furnace general at opposite ends with different toilets and so on. There's no reason why they should have met. But he was absolutely shouting and insisting that they had met and they had discussed it um, and that they'd refused to have stents in. And all I wanted to do was to confirm whether we had been lied to. And we had. There's no doubt about it. I knew he just hadn't done the procedure properly. And the question is, do you let that go past? Do you challenge it there and then in front of the department, in which case it would have degenerated into a shouting match? Or do you go away, make sure you've got your facts right, and then hand it upstream? I do feel I have an overarching responsibility to patient safety and patient care. Um, and I've been watching this kind of thing going on there. Well, with respect to one colleague for 15, 16 years, but as you know full well, this is the latest in a very, very, very long line of, I'm choosing my words carefully, negligent actions that have gone on in the department that have had serious and sometimes lethal consequences. I don't feel I can just sit by and watch these cases go through and have people lie. I want to make sure that he knows that I had no intentions whatsoever of doing anything against him. Mm. Because in my opinion, and my feelings are that he was Peter that saved my life. It was against Jane. No way on this earth was it against Peter. If they don't do anything about it after hearing that, then um, there's no hope for it, is there? And there's so, only one way I can see that it's resolved. And, that, and what's that? I've got to get rid of the two surgeons, and I think something's got to be done about David Walker. You mm. definitely didn't tell Amita that what Peter told you upset you in that you blamed Peter for telling you. Yeah. I mean, Peter never upset me at all. You know, the only thing that he upset me was that he told me that Jane hadn't put the stent back in, which was no fault of his. And you never gave her any indication... You never gave her any indication that you were going to sue Peter? 